My current role is the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the Ocean Frontier Institute uh, in uh, Canada, in Nova Scotia. This is a, uh, an interdisciplinary transnational partnership on ocean research. Uh, but when I was at UNESCO, I was actually the Executive Secretary of the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission and Assistant Director General of UNESCO. In terms of uh, learning opportunities in my career, I was very fortunate. There were two major ones. One was what was called in Fisheries and Oceans Canada, where I spent most of my life, uh, was called an EX bridging program. So it was to take people who were not yet executives into the executive cadre. And there was a national competition. I was lucky enough to be chosen. And that took me to our national capital, Ottawa, and uh, really began. Subsequent to uh, arriving in Ottawa, there was another program, but for the entire Canadian Public Service, called the Accelerated EX Development Program. And again, I was fortunate enough to be accepted into that program. So it gave us different secondment opportunities in different departments, um, and introduced me to all kinds of new learning techniques, group learnings, all of those sorts of things. So that's. You know, those were two big opportunities, but I would say uh, my biggest learning came when I moved to UNESCO and to the IOC, uh, because working in an intergovernmental organization and of course being in Paris, uh, meeting all the ambassadors, meeting uh, people from all the member states, it was uh, an enormous learning opportunity and I'm forever grateful for it. For a number of years, when I was the Assistant Deputy Minister of Science for Fisheries and Oceans Canada, I was head of the Canadian delegation to the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission. So I, uh, I was familiar with the IOC uh, and after a number of years, I, I suppose three or four, uh, it happened that my predecessor was stepping down. So there was an advertisement process uh, similar to other positions within, uh, within the UN. I applied, uh, went through a very long process uh, but again, I was very fortunate to be chosen to become the Executive Secretary and um, I was excited to be the, the first woman to be the Executive Secretary of the IOC. In terms of uh, promoting learning opportunities for staff, first of all, I believe in it very strongly. Uh, I believe in both professional and personal development opportunities. So whenever it was possible, which is, you know, 99% of the time, if, if staff would ask, I would try to support them in whatever they wanted to do. In some cases, if I saw certain uh, courses or webinars or other sorts of things that I thought would appeal to some of my staff, I would alert them to it. Um, and uh, generally, I would say just being open to opportunities and recognizing that any sort of learning, uh, personal, helps the professional and vice versa. So uh, it, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer to me to support staff in their learning opportunities. And I think you know, with the current techniques and more and more on uh, IT techniques and learning online, it really is unlimited uh, and, it, and it helps people. My advice to those who would wish to join UNESCO would be, number one, um, it, 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 it doesn't always happen the first time. There are many positions that are advertised, and uh, you know, be be broad. Uh, don't take it personally if you don't get in the first time. Stick with it. Be tenacious, and uh, eventually you'll you'll get here. And once you do, you will know why you stuck to it, and you will be very happy.